started with Losers Finals. Six Master and Alondis. So, no surprise we're seeing a lot of explosions coming out from Alondis from the start. Still being evasive, being able to look into avoid the projectiles that Six Mask is going to be throwing out, but landing oh, a couple nice. fares. Yeah, he snagged the jump there, but he still had a good recovery to get the platform in time. Oh! Oh my god, that was such so much pressure, but uh, Six Mask got through all of it. Like two, oh, whoa! <laughs> Those water tricks on items. You always gotta, never gonna know what Pac Man's gonna throw at you and how. This is a pretty good stage for both of them, honestly. At least this, uh, this version of the stage looks really good for Pac Man to charge the fruit on the platform. It was a similar uh, situation for Snake as well. Oh! Watch out for the Z4. Alright, he will land his feet back on the oh. ground. Whoa! Using the explosion to knock out the Hydrant. Looks like he keeps using C4 for that. Yeah, uh, it's a good idea. Oh! Snake's heavy, so he's not gonna die. To oh my! Oh, he missed this chance. That was an opportunity for a back air there to close off this stock. Yeah, but I think he had already committed to the side B. It was he was stuck. Okay, yeah, it's the bell. Oh no, he's gonna go for the key. Still not gonna be way for him to get this stock so far. And they both are just like chipping at each other. But now he's dead if he gets a down throw. Down throw up to shit kill. Apple? Usually is a very powerful fruit, but not enough to knock out Snake. Oh yeah, watch those grenades. <laughs> That's one way to avoid the Nikita. Yeah, six. Oh, he's gonna die to that. Yeah, six minutes is like committed to going for the key to kill Snake. Hasn't been successful just so, so far though. Not looking for a roll at the ledge. The Lon is taking his time. He's just waiting there the entire time. Nice, F2. Oh, oh man, that was so close to hitting. Yeah, Lonis is really smart about dealing with the Hydrant too. Okay, finally the key snipe will work. But he took 48% in the process. Yeah, but that's, that's just one combo. Yeah, it's true. He almost like completely like made up the percent devastate just with one uh, Galaga. That Galaga coming into play again. More damage gets put onto Alondis. Wow. The bounce what? of the fruit. Oh, what? Man. That had enough knockback? Yeah. And it lasted like super long time, but he just SDs immediately. I don't know why he died there. I guess he didn't have enough time to throw out his up B from the air dodge? That's kinda crazy. Man, that sucked, cause he had a really good stock there with the back air kill on Snake. That's true, and now Londis again, Lux in his favor, uh, able to uh, essentially bring it even due to uh, a misplay from his opponent. Yeah. Again, uh, Alon is playing around the Hydrant really well. Jacking up percent with the grenades, as well as destroying the Hydrant. 
uh, for the most part. Yeah, air dodging past the Nikita, dropping a hydrant, but Ooh. up tilt, whoo, barely close. Oh man, another one. It's a little stale now, but Snake has like plethora of moves to kill. The up tilt actually placed Alanis in the prime position to get S smashed. Yeah, and it allowed him to, uh, oh man, key snipe. It allowed uh, Six Master to get um, some more damage on the hydrant. Then it retreats to the ledge here. I don't know how smart that is, giving stage so much stage control. That seemed to be working out as they switch positions. And Alana is charging his fur. Six Master charging his fruit on the platform. Ooh! Watch the hydrant. It's always risky when you don't destroy the hydrant, like with a single hit, because then they can use it against you. Oh! Okay. Air yeah, shield, a very weak hit, but. No! Oh! oh. Not enough time to get the... Oh he my god, he's crazy. He's crazy. Yeah, that's not worth... That was not worth at all. Still super easy to punish your landing after that move. Yeah. Honestly... Six Master even he... went for like the extended version too. Went all you have to do be... in that situation is... uh, Yeah, let Snake use his up B or whatever, but then just catch his landing. So all he's gonna do is either just like be reverse or just like land on uh, some other place. That was a really hard first game though for both players. Went down to the wire. Seems a lot of people versus uh, Allen just go for crazy like plays that just <laughs> are never worth it. I mean, I, I understand it. You definitely want to pick options that your opponent's not expecting, but I mean, a couple times have already worked out and then didn't work out. <laughs> mm, Talos again for uh, Six Master. This is like the third, fourth time I've seen him play on this stage today. Pretty sure this is just a comfortable pick for a six master. Yeah, it's just a good. Might be his go-to counter pick. It's not even always his counter pick. It's just people taking the stage too. This is a good Pac-Man stage in general, in my opinion. Not a bad snake stage either, though. I just feel like this is one of those matches where they both benefit from the same type of stage layout. Falling to Nikita. Not exactly a smart move, but still Six Master making it work in his favor. Okay. Uh, watch out. Yeah, good stuff for Alan to uh, get rid of the hydrant there. It could have been really bad for him. Oh my god, I almost gonna die to Nikita off the side. Oh, the Nikita destroyed the side B, but. Still okay, able to take it back. Oh, back throw here? Oh no, you, Snake's way too heavy to die that. I don't know what he's doing with the hydrant. It worked, <laughs> yo, what the yo. heck? Those next level plays from Pac-Man. What the heck was that? Wow, Snake taking his time making it back to the ledge, knowing that there is a plethora of traps waiting for him. Yeah. That was a really smart recovery from Six Master. Down throw, he's gonna go for the- Oh, he's too close, so he got pushed off the stage. That was a guaranteed up tilt, but he went off the stage. I mean, he's still hanging on to his stock, so... I, I mean, I pretty much consider that a W. Oh, let me just get this clean up tilt, though. Only took 27. Yeah, Six Master's is like, okay, you're gonna give me all this space to charge fruit. I'm, I'll take it any day of the week. Yeah, only getting one hit with a Kinghalga. Not enough to really convert or do the big damage that we, we tend to see from Pac Man. Oh man, all the explosions working in uh, Alan's favor so far. 
Chuck and Joe. The cherries. I don't know what he's going for with that side B. <laughs> He's, he just run all the way off stages. He doesn't care as long as he avoids the Nikita. He's 100% fine. Wow, that actually worked out a lot in his favor pretty well. He, yeah. he got the hit explosion. by the bell and it exploded the grenade. Yeah, the explosion got him out of the stun faster. Favor definitely, our fortune definitely favors Alondas with yeah, the, he, the he, amount he, of luck that he keeps getting. He gets very lucky. But he's also very skilled at the same time. So it's just really unfortunate for his opponents. <laughs> oh my gosh. Angie's away from connecting there on the forward smash. Okay. Oh! Wasn't paying attention to his own hydrant. Oh, and the key snipe from deep. Still gonna live there though. Wow. He forgot about the Nikita falling. <laughs> Hydrant still not enough to take a stock. Goes for like one of those soft hit lobs, so it continues to bounce. It kind of maintains the position next to Pac-Man. And here we go, the distance game, the ranged attacks. Yeah, they are just fighting from so far away, but neither of them can get the kill. Again, he's gonna wait out the build the ledge. Oh, oh he, he wasn't ready for the roll, but he got the back throw here. That'll do it. Nice catch. Alright, at this point, oh nice, nice. That was smart. Cause what Six Master was baiting was for him to go to the ledge while he had the Galaga and he just gets like that free 30-40% uh, combo just from you just being next to the ledge when you have the he has the Galaga in hand. But uh Oh Alan Alan just didn't give it to him. Oh no tech, he didn't go for the jab lock though. Ooh. Okay, rolling into that into the fruit. Gotta remember while the fruit is bouncing on the ground, it still retains its hitbox. So it's just a great trap coming from Six Master. Six Master kind of ran away with this one a little bit. Uh, Alan just is playing a far enough distance to where you you won't have to worry about Pac-Man's up close options, but he's still again allowing Six Master too much room to just charge the free fruit that he wants. Yeah, dropping down the hydrant. Going down there to cover his landing as well. And Alondis had 111%. Almost 100% deficit. 100% deficit. Yeah, and I mean, it's not going to happen, I don't think. But at this point, even if Six Master wanted, he could play the, the time. The only being a minute when he left. He's gotten like four keys, like, charged for free. Just because he's charging on the platform. Now, honestly, he's going for the timer might be the, the safer approach. Because trying to hit Snake, especially Alonis, who's naturally evasive, uh, does not seem to be working out. Look at that, we're below the one minute mark. And, okay, the key, the key again. <laughs> Yeah, he had that key charge for quite a long time. But uh, it, a lot of this was giving it to him, honestly. Like, he just was hanging back, letting him charge the fruit every single time. Um, then again, it is really hard to deal with it because he's just... On Kalos, he gets to just go to that those side platforms and just charge so easily. It's kind of hard for Snake to catch him on that on the, those platforms. But, uh... Another game going to, or another really close game from these guys. It's like barely winning from each person. I feel like this one's gonna go to game five. I don't know. This is the way it's going right now. Well, you know what? Some of the other ones have also felt like game five sets, like, or that they were gonna go the distance, but they didn't. Maybe, uh,. This one might not either. I mean, Six Master was looking good in game one, except for that really unfortunate SD that turned into a uh, stock trade, which allowed Alonis to win. Could just see Six Master take it 3-1. Let's see. I like this pick. Uh, I guess DSR isn't on, because it wasn't this the first game. 
Uh, I don't think our rule set has DSR. Yeah. But I actually like this stage. Uh, it's just small enough for Snake to not get, like, super zoned out by the Pac-Man strategy, but still big enough for him to set up his own projectiles really well. Also, the platforms are good for the C4 as, uh, as well. Yeah, Uptil's gonna clank with the Hydrant. Wow! Ooh, too the far Hydrant away. pushed him! Oh yeah, it did. I saw that. <laughs> That's silly. All right, second chance with the bell here. Not gonna find any luck though. Oh, big call out, call, catching the jump with that up air. Really strong move from Snake. Well, let's see, let's see how Alan dis plays with the stock lead here. He can rack up so much safe percent if he wants to. Oh, but he's gonna trade grenades with the hydrant. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that was worth. <laughs> Cause all it took was one Galaga setup, and he's taking a percent lead here. Well, even percents again. He's, it seems like one of the closest sets we've had on stream. Yeah, they're just both playing their characters so well, and they both have pretty good knowledge of the match of it. It seems. So it just goes back and forth. Nice. Set him up to get thrown off stage here. Oh, big dash attack though from Alan. Six Master. Oh, man. <laughs> Six Mass is aware of the C4 though on the platform, I'm pretty sure. Oh, great tech though. Oh, what are you doing? Oh man, that was a free up smash. Again, the explosion getting him out of the stun from the bell faster so he doesn't have to worry about getting killed. Oh, second chance though. Yep, the bell coming, take it the stock. But 124%, like, like I said, these two can just keep going back and forth in terms of percent. Just standing in the wrong place at the wrong time. That's E4. Prime position. Taking the stock even again. Starting to get tagged by these, uh, these grenades, though. Gotta play a little bit safer here. Okay. He's got the bill. Oh now, oh, now he has the key. Man, he's just like so easily charging these fruit. And I don't even think it's like out of just, just letting up on this stage. It's just the way that Snake's projectiles work. They take so much time to reach Pac-Man. He just has all the time he needs to get the fruit he wants. Yeah, I'm actually curious to see what this matchup would, or at least like how these two players would play on a smaller stage. Like Battlefield? I guess the, yeah, Battlefield would be the next bet, but I feel like Six Master is banning Triplats versus Snake. That would I make mean, sense. That, yeah, it's just a good idea. Just get He's rid of all the key false pages. The key. Oh, man. The yeah, key Alan's combo. Trying to get set up. He's trying to get set up with his projectiles, but yeah, these fruit are just proving to be a menace. Every single time he thinks he has the opportunity to pull a grenade, he's getting hit by something. And uh, Six Master going to take another game. That one looking uh, pretty dominant in his favor, though. Yeah, so we might just see a 3-1 in Six Master's favor. It really depends on what the next stage select is. Honestly, if I, I almost feel like Alondis would perform, or at least be able to tack on more damage on a six master easier on a smaller stage yeah if battlefield's banned and smashville's open that, that's where i would take him probably his best best like small stage goes with like a good platform for like the c4 and stuff
Okay, well, what is the... Oh, oh, oh! I don't know why he likes this one, though. Uh, why would you like this one? It's kind of harder to see the grenade a little bit, but... I don't know. That was good music. Can we- can the- can the stream hear the music though? We can't hear anything. Yeah, the stream can hear everything. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's see. Let's see what, uh, Alan, Alan just can do. I like this counter pick. It's a really good snake stage. And it's, uh, small enough to where he can chase Pac-Man down and, like, corner him at least. Also, the platforms kind of mess up where he wants to use the hydrant. See, like that. It's kind of stuck on the top platform now. Then again, Six Pass is so good at playing, like, with just his normals that he might not even care if he can't use the hydrant as much. Oh, he's doing the strat where he just takes Pac Man's fruit and holds on to it for dear life. Just drops C4 everywhere, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, that's like the- that and the Nikita, I think, are the two specials he can use. Other than up B, of course, while, while holding the free at the same time. Despite that, though, uh, Six Master, pretty decent percent lead here. Very close to getting this stock off of a snake. What? Oh, what? what? Are you serious? Wow. All right. That next level mind game. Run All up right, to that's, the taunt. That's demoralizing, for sure. Like he he might just have just gotten mind broken just now. Like he might just be mentally checked out after something like that happens to you. Yeah. Well, rolling towards a grenade, uh, escaping that 50-50. The Alanis continues to have success with. Yeah. This is looking mad good for Six Master. Oh man, the key barely missed. That would have been a really good snipe. And he barely avoided the C4 too. And these up smashes, they are consistent. They are a threat. Oh Look my at that. god, he got hit by everything. The up smash and the hydrant. Felt like it was two up smashes and a hydrant. And it's good for his six master that key goes like full screen on this stage. He can literally throw it from the complete opposite side of the battlefield and still connect. Here we go with those lift traps again. Gets the back throw, but not able to set up anything due to all the explosions coming to the six master's way. Um, just just throwing the entire kitchen sink at six master trying to make something happen But yeah, he's he's in a rough spot dude 82% is not that much Okay Nice tag Great. chase on the top platform. That's exactly what he needed Especially with max rage. That was that was just the perfect combination um, of events To allow Alondis to to take the stock lead Okay, yeah, and he's just racking up all the safe percent here. Yeah, using both hits of F tilt to eliminate that uh, fire hydrant. They're not going to allow Six Master to set up any sort of pressure at the ledge. Yeah, great, avoiding the Apple too. He's just getting re really good dash attacks on Six Master's landing right now. And, and yeah, Six Master is just getting is. blown up. Yeah, he is. He's trying to throw these fruit, but every time he thinks he's safe, he keeps hitting these grenade trades over and over. Oh, the Hydrant, though, coming in clutch. Yeah, Still. clipping Alondis, and that's going to even up the stocks. But, I mean, we, oh we both know goodness. the percent. We both see the percent. We know how much damage uh, Pac-Man can put out. Yeah, he got 048 already. Oh! oh. Okay, look. Oh, man, no, barely living that up tilt. Oh, what? my goodness, the explosion that... on the Hydrant. Oh, my God. Look out for this Nikita. Oh, he's still, still getting tagged. Can he come back? Yeah, he's going to be able to make it back. 
gonna take another he, Nikita hit, avoiding oh, it. That was such a good angle on his up B. He like juked out of the way of the Nikita, but it didn't oh. even matter. He just got blown up anyway. Oh my god. Game five. Really, really close. Really, really close stuff. Damn. I don't know who's gonna take this. I don't I don't know. I think if I mean I'm pretty sure we're at least going to a medium sized stage. Nothing small here. Yeah, um I don't know. Alan should definitely ban uh, any big stage. He shouldn't let him go back to Kalos again. At all. Like, I would ban uh, Town and Kalos, probably. And just let him let him play on FD if he goes there. Yeah, honestly, like, outside of one or two interactions, Alondis hasn't been making great use of platforms. So I think FD might have been the pick. Oh, he's letting him go back to PS2. I don't... Well, he did win here, right? Actually. Uh, uh yeah, but that was the game that Six Master did the, the horrible trade. No, I mean, Six has won on this stage too, right? Oh, yes. Six has won, yes. Yeah, so it, it makes sense that he's going on this stage. But I think this is a really good snake stage too. Right now, though, Six Master going kind of going crazy on uh, Alan right now. He's trying to play super aggressive. Yeah, dropping the C4 and escaping. Lon is Ooh. able to put on a little bit more damage, keeping these numbers extremely close in terms of that. Was it 17%? Yeah. Nice. Up to in the hydrogen right out of there, and again, big dash attack. I really like how you're using the dash attack to catch Pac-Man's landings very consistently. Oh, free hit? Yeah. Oh yeah, just enough to kill. Very bad recovery from Six Master. And uh, so far, Alan, this, like, when he gets a stock lead, he, like, he hangs on to it for as long as he can. It's true. Oh my goodness. See a forward air connect. Not seeing... I mean, Alon is kind of going back to his ev evasive play. We're just throwing out wall projectiles, throw everything at him again. But a key is going to sneak through all of the explosions oh, and the hydrant. Man. Not enough to take the stock, though. What? You could still take that? It was over 150%. Alon is hanging on to his first stock. Oh, he just died to the apple there. Huh? Like, he didn't even get hit by the hydrant. I'm not sure. I mean, look like both of them, but double grenade. That's a lot of damage. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely gonna die up tilt soon. Looks like Alonis knows that he's already throwing out the up tilts. I, I think Six Master is gonna have to play out of his mind to bring this one back. Man, might need some more of those uh, assists into up smashes, or taunt into up smash. He's trying his best though, like he, he's weaving around these explosions, try, trying to apply as much pressure as he can out him, but there's the C4 caught him slipping, and that's another pretty early stock. Yeah, with 80%, he still has to essentially put damage onto Alondis, then find the hit that closes out the stock, only to bring him even. That's a lot of work to do. Yeah, and uh, just, uh, I don't know, Alan just looks really confident in these situations. He's just getting, he's hitting dash attack after dash attack every single time. Uh, Six Master thinks he's safe. He's also just really just nullifying the hydrant as well. I mean, even right here, we're starting to see him, like, really abuse these platforms to his advantage. He continued to throw up smash after up smash oh. after up smash. Oh, he knew he'd roll there. He was already turned around with the up tilt. Honestly, I, I feel like did. roll was the correct option. Six Master just needed to wait a little bit longer to get the push from the water. Yeah. Either I way, I just read the hell out of him there. 
Like he knew he was gonna roll like a thousand years ago. Everyone rolls. So six miles is already out of there. He's gone. Uh, but great stuff. Aaron just taking that game five. He earns his run back against Kirby Kid. Yep, and he's gonna get his run back against Kirby Kid. This time in a best of five. When he played earlier, it was just best two out of three, but he definitely got two owed like free. So let's see if he can take a game off Kirby Kid this time. Or will K roll win uh, MSM online? We'll see. I think I'm gonna be happy regardless of which player wins. Yeah, I like both these players. Hey, thanks for the follow. I like pie. I like pie too. <laughs>